We'll jump back to the browser, refresh, and now it looks like our border disappeared because it's white and the background is white. Eventually, we're going to be able to see this border because as we see in the mockup, I'm gonna scroll up here, the background is gray where this heading is being used. And so it seems like a logical next step to create the spaces where this background color can exist. But before we do that, I want to take a broader look at selectors and what we're doing with them. So let's jump back to our code. Right now we're using two different types of selectors. We're using an element selector and we're using a class selector, but there's a whole lot of other kinds of selectors we can use and we can also combine these to be a lot more specific. Let's find a good resource online that we can tap into when we wanna learn more about selectors. I'm gonna to jump to the browser and I'll go back to the window where we were working with borders and let's do a quick search for CSS selectors. Okay, again, W3Schools shows up at the top, but you can also hop over to developer.mozilla.org. I'm gonna click on the top result. So if we scroll down, you can get a sense of the range of selector types that you can use. At the top are the most commonly used ones. The first example here is a class, and the example looks similar to what we have, a dot and then the class names, and it selects all elements with the class intro. If you click on this, you can see an example. Let's click the try it yourself. So down here we have a class equals intro on this div. We've already talked about div tags. And then in the style tag up here, we have the dot intro in order to apply styles to just elements of this class. So you see the background color of yellow being applied to the div, which surrounds these two paragraph tags, but not to this last one, which is outside of that div. Okay, I'll close this and we'll hit back. Now the other one that we've used is element, and we've only used this with the heading two tag, but we can use it with any element. You can click on this to see an example. I'll click on try it yourself, and you can see that all paragraphs are gonna have the background color yellow. So we have paragraph, paragraph, paragraph. All three have the yellow background. I'm gonna close this out and hit back again. As we move forward, we'll end up using a variety of selectors, but most of them will combine the element selector with class selectors and doing things like using them together, like you see here with a comma, or applying styles to all descendants of an element, like you see here when using a space, or using them as children, like you see here where there's just a space. So we'll come back to those, but if you feel like going a little deeper into CSS selectors before we get to it, this is a good place to start. All right, I'm gonna jump back to our example page. 